Welcome to another quick tip tutorial for Unity, but in this case it's actually addressing an annoyance in Unity, and I'll show you how to cheat to fix that annoyance. Now if you've been working on a game for any significant amount of time in Unity, I bet you've probably come across this scenario. So here it is, you've got a car, and it's a beautiful car, and I'll, I'll leave a link to the asset store for this car in the description. Now when we started our game, we thought the car component would be perfect. It's got our maximum speed, it's got acceleration, we've got wheel components and light components and they're all linked to in these various arrays. But now a designer has come along and said, actually, we want to have a pickup truck component and that will have a bed length and a load capacity. So suddenly we're faced with this problem. We've developed that pickup truck component that derives from car, but we need to now swap these components out. And herein lies the problem of Unity. If I try and drag this component across, I could do that and then one by one, I could copy and paste these variables into my new component. I could find my links to my game objects and drag those across as well. But that's tedious and takes a long time to do. Also, let's say I've been a good developer and my car component has the disallow multiple component attribute assigned to it. This means that I can only have one car component on any one game object. So if I try and drag my pickup component, which derives from car, I can't do that. Here's the pop-up. It tells me I'm only allowed one of the vehicle component and vehicles what car derives off of. So what do we do? Well, we could copy and paste this, remove the car and then put the pickup truck, lock our inspectors and then start copying across. But no, let's not do that. Let's cheat. Right next to our lock on our inspector are three dots. And this enables us to change the way the inspector looks. Now take note of the script here. And it tells us what script is actually associated with this component, in this case car. And it's blocked out. We can't do anything with it, except when we select it, it selects our component in the inspector. However, if we press these three dots and we switch our inspector into debug mode, and if you don't know what debug mode is, it enables us to see even more attributes to do with our components. We'll notice that the script is now available. So now we could drag our pickup script across and over our car and hey presto, the script is changed to pickup and our extra variables have dropped in of bed length and load capacity. That's great. Now, a word of warning here, this might not work for everything. So what I would say is if you decide you're going to do this on your prefabs for your cars, save them first and then perform this action and then save again. And I would reload that prefab or that scene up just to make sure everything has actually copied across correctly and it's all working perfectly. And once you're happy, press the three dots again, go back to normal and carry on your life with the pickup truck.